All right, here's a follow-up review of the Marineland Aquatic Plant LED system. Um, it's a little more lush in there than from before. Uh, the right side's still a little dwindling, not quite as lush as the left side. But um, I actually ended up just getting a second LED fixture. Uh, it's a 36 to 48 uh, reef capable LED system from Marineland. Put that on top, I have the uh, aquatic plant in the rear and the uh, reef capable in the front. Both pretty good lights. As you can see, everything's uh, all the plants are purling right now. Uh, I don't have a bubbler in there. Those are uh, the plants purling right now. If you can see that, I don't know if you can or not, but uh, it's looking pretty good in there. I think the right side and the rear is going to come back with the second light. I just got it the other day. Um, I don't think one light is enough. Uh, I think you need two. This is a 46 gallon bow and uh, unfortunately I don't think one aquatic plant LED is enough. Uh, I did get good growth but it just doesn't spread enough to cover the entire tank and two lights I think are required. Um, unfortunately that's, that's a pricey investment. I mean probably I think $900 for both those lights. I ended up getting one a lot cheaper than the other, but uh, I think it's worth it. This this tank's looking incredible, and these lights are good for 50,000 hours. Uh, if you can find a deal on these lights, I think it's worth it, but uh, I mean, save on your energy bills, I guess, with the LED wadding capabilities, but uh, my camp, compact fluorescence did a good job, but um, I think they were about 96 watts each, so... This is a lot more efficient and I think in the long term probably save me some money, especially with those expensive bulbs you got to replace every six months. So this is it. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend the uh, Marine Line LED lighting, but uh, again, it's not cheap and uh, for a 46 gallon, I definitely need two. One just doesn't cut it. So have any questions, post in the comments.